On a good day, this with a tailwind, this is a 50 odd mile an hour descent. Oh, I know. It's so yeah. short, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, short steep. Yeah. Good. You know, it's. You know, it's deep, it's quite good. I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and welcome to my channel. Well, as you can see, it is raining. We've had a cracking ride, 60 miles, way over into Derbyshire, up some of the biggest hills in the area. We've done Holm Moss and the Isle of Skye today. What a cracking ride. Anyway, here's the video and I hope you enjoy it. It's mainly about the descending today. And you're joining me now on the first climb of the day from Newey to Denshaw. It's a sharp, steep little one. It's a better descent and the guys are up ahead. I can't see them, they're out of sight. And today I'm out with Lee and Andy. I'll catch you later. Here we are now, just approaching the crest of the A640. It's one of them where you're very quickly over the summit and you're on the descent. So we regroup and I'm just coming through there, passing Andy on the inside. Lee's there just ahead. He's got the GoPro mount on the seat post. So let's light things up a little bit. And we're hitting around the 35 miles per hour mark. Again, on its day, this is a super fast descent. So I know that the guys are behind me and I go over to the left there, just allowing any room if they want to overtake. And there comes Lee. Lee's very good at doing the overtaking manoeuvres and passing with good pace. I took in there, obviously the view's restricted a bit now, but I've got to get aero, get behind Lee, and now this right hand bend, I ease off, and look at that gap appear. Very quickly you've got about 30 metres of a gap, I've got to get out of the saddle, sprint, and really work hard to get back in behind Lee. But there we are, we're all caught up, and that was the first major descent of the day. This area is Denshaw now. Okay, it's going to be a hilly one today. We're over near Denshaw now. We're going to head towards Diggle, Dell, Upper Mill area. All round there is hilly. And I think we're going to go over the Isle of Skye. These are classic high level roads in Lancashire onto the border of West Yorkshire. And if we go over Home Moss today, that's a high summit. It feels like a mountain and you're at over 1,700 foot above sea level. Catch you later. Okay, I'm on the back. We're doing 22 mile an hour through Upper Mill. It's very light wind. So at the moment we're really flying. So as you can see there, Lee is on the front and he's putting on a blistering pace. 
I'm at the back because I'm always faffing about when I'm actually trying to film these rides, but we do regroup and we all make our way on towards the next part of the ride. Which is the A635, it's the climb that goes over towards Holmfirth, which again is the last of the summer wine country. It's a long, long climb and as you can see there I'm pointing out that's the route ahead. Okie dokie, we're halfway up the Isle of Skye climb. It's the A635. It's a long one this. We're not far now from the summit of the Isle of Skye. It's hard work I'll tell you. And the guys just behind me. Okay, we've crossed over to the border now into Kirklees. We're going to drop down this descent towards Holmfirth. It can be fast and it's quite damp today. Now we're in the, up in the mist. So, we've got to take it easy on the bends. So, here we are now on the plateau. It's quite a long stretch of road, this, and we're at around the 1,600 foot above sea level mark. I come through there just taking a turn at the front. As you can see, the road seems to go on forever. We're doing around 33 miles per hour at this point. And because it's such a wide open road, it's really important that we work together, we take a turn at the front, and that we also get some recovery from each other using the drafting effect. So here we are now, just a bit further down the road, and the pace has picked up. We're doing around 38 miles per hour, and a long, nice, safe section of road to overtake. I do a bit on the front again, Lee's tucked behind me, and Andy will be coming through shortly. And there goes Andy with a really nice bit of pace. Lee comes through quickly. This is a nice example of us all working together and sharing the workload. Again, I'm at the back, I really do benefit from this moment here. They're taking so much of the wind for me. They're basically punching a big hole through the wind. I can freewheel or I can just tuck in. Look at Andy there, he's not pedalling. He looks over his shoulder and then he'll go to the front and he'll give Lee a break. Here I am at the back coming through and helping with these rotations and this led us to a point where the road gets really interesting. It starts to drop quickly and there's some nice turns on it. Again we've got to be mindful of other road users, the conditions, the wet road surfaces. As a cyclist you're always going to face risks but there's something about it and once you get hooked on it, it really does make your heart beat quicker. So here we are now approaching a series of fast bends. That's Lee with a pretty good gap on us all there. Again, I must stress, we're not racing, we're enjoying a good descent. So I'm trying to get to Lee there the best I can. I tuck in, and it's just a case of taking advantage of the clean air that's in front of me. As you can see, I'm just freewheeling here, and I bridge the gap by drafting. And there's Andy, not too far behind. And as we cut to the chest mount camera, I am carrying some pace there and I don't look at the speedometer. We really are shifting, but I know the guys are very close behind. Lee will just be on my left, so I pull out just to the right. I know he's there, and here he comes. He comes through like a rocket, closely followed by Andy. This is a great bit of road. Again, it's not for the faint-hearted, and it's not something you want your mother to watch either. Look at the gap now that's appeared. I'm out of the saddle here trying to sprint just to keep together with the guys. And it really is hard work to keep pedalling these big gears. No matter how hard you try, it's just so difficult to bridge the gaps. You put so much effort in and you're going downhill. Sometimes I find it harder going downhill than actually going uphill. But I've caught up with Andy, but Lee's got such a gap on us, it will be difficult to bridge that gap. And we're approaching Homeforth as well, so we've got to be mindful of the built-up areas, the cars, side roads, etc. So here we are now on the final phase of this descent, and it was a cracking descent, a really long one as well. But we're approaching a built-up area, there's a lot more traffic on the road, so we just regroup 
and make our way towards Holmfirth. Here we are now coming around this left hand bend as a car, that's a classic example of a car edging out and luckily we all got around there quite safely and again we had a good view of the road ahead of us. Now that already sounds... Oh, oh. I'll just turn it off Lee. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yay. My word. I think I maxed out at 44.6 miles an hour there. It weren't super fast, but it was a long way fast. And we all did goals on the front. I enjoyed that. It was harder going down that than up it. I'll catch you later. Home Moss next. We're about to start the climb of Home Moss. There's the two guys in orange, you can make them out. A couple of big switchbacks here, and then we ramp right up. It's a good one, this. We're approaching the summit now of Holmos. That's a nice climb, that. The view behind me there is opening up. And the guys are just ahead of me. And there's the Holmos transmitter over my shoulder. Right, we're at the summit of Hull Moss. It says there, 524 metres above sea level. That's over 1,700 foot. We're high up here in the Peak District in the Pennines. Mmm, cherry. Okay, we're on the summit. The descent's that way. This could be fast. There'll be a, probably a cross side wind, so I have to watch it on the, some of the exit points. Now this is a very, very fast section of road. Um, I don't recommend you try and go down here quick unless you are a competent bike rider. But right from the start, I was just at the back. I was adjusting my GoPro camera and I didn't get on the wheels. So as you can see there, the pace is building up and there's a gap. And for me to bridge that gap now at these speeds, it's almost impossible. You need a lot of brute force and power. And, and to be honest, a little bit of nerve taking some of these bends at the speeds we were hitting. This was a 54 mile an hour descent in the end. There you go, look at the gap now. It's absolutely gone. So let's have a cut to my camera and have a look at the action from the chest mount. Side. Hold on. So here you are now on board with me, but we're way back up towards the summit. I'm coming down here at a rate of knots, averaging over 40 miles an hour for the whole section. You can see the two guys ahead of me, and that gap, it was just too much to bridge, and it's not worth taking massive risks when you're out having a bit of fun. Again here, I'm trying to take some racing lines, I've got a clear road ahead of me, just cut the corners. And today we were all on compact setups, which is a 50-34 with an 11 tooth sprocket on the back. Again here, I'm freewheeling, I'm tucked in, I'm cutting over again to keep a straighter line, and we're moving. I think here I maxed out at around 48 miles per hour at one point, and this was more a case of just enjoy my descent, whilst the two guys ahead had a real blast down here together. So let's switch cameras and get on board further up the road ahead. So there's a nice overtaking manoeuvre by Lee and Andy just tucks in safely behind. It keeps a distance because you need a little bit of room at this speed just in case you need to adjust your position on the road. As you can see Andy's tucked in is now freewheeling and the drafting effect just allows it to come through with ease. Again I'm nowhere to be seen by the looks of that shot and this road here it does drop pretty quickly I can see that Lee's been pedalling there and he's putting some power through the pedals and this probably will be one of the fastest sections of the road
Let's just rewind the video a moment there. Now at 50 miles per hour, that was a close shave. So here you are now back on board. There was a sign indicating that the road does get quite steep again. And here we're doing around 35 miles per hour, but the pace will then increase as we drop down here. And this is where the sheep were on that section of the road. And we're nicely tucked in here, just letting the bike do the work. Keep the bike in a straight line, don't make any sudden manoeuvres. Look well ahead and pick your lines. And to put things into perspective, this section of road drops 843 feet from the top to the bottom, just over two miles. Now the professionals in the Tour de France covered this road in 2 minutes and 50 seconds and today we got down here in just under 3 minutes and 20 seconds and that goes to show that these professional riders really can ride hard and fast all day long and you've got to take into account that at the top we stopped to have a look at the view before the climb we stopped to regroup and just have a chat about the last descent the professional riders in the pro peloton today they just hit things head on all the way full gas you can just see there how the gap appeared i couldn't bridge it i hit 48 lee reckons 54 yeah, andy same 54 these in the right 50s down there that's fast <laughs> it's really fast okay we've made it safely from um, the woodhead road into glossop and i think we've found a nice cafe these rides are social rides and we always aim to find a good cafe en route somewhere and it's always nice to have a bit of bike talk and to share some of the moments of the day so far. Right, well my bill was I think £3.20, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> £3.20, £3. a pot of tea and a sausage and egg. We've asked if the price is right and he says yeah they put the prices up. <laughs> Well, that was a fantastic ride out. And if you like these videos, let me know and I'll make some more for you. And thank you for watching. Okay, we're on the summit. The descent's that way. This could be fist. Fist. <laughs> Cut. Hello.